So post-conference, take back the vote. I'm here with John Brakey, John Brakey out of uh, Audit AZ. And uh, you heard him speak earlier today, but I want him to get his final post-conference thoughts and just additional advice that you can give us. And maybe he just didn't get enough time to share. So, uh, hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, and I'm very grateful for what you guys did, and uh, how you brought us all together, and how uh, that we have bonded, how we have discovered these other like-minded people out here who are making a difference. And I find you very special. Oh, thank From the you time so I much. first met you the other day, and what you do, that's what your team does, and for putting this team together, I think it's extremely, very valuable. We learn from each other from across the no doubt about it. And uh, to meet Jim, to meet also see Mimi Kennedy here, who I've worked with for 10 years, uh, Jonathan Simon, I thought he was phenomenal. I think the good message is very important. I'm thinking about. I, I saw that. I, mean, that, I don't know what he said, but uh, you know, it, it's a real pleasure to be here. And you know, I. Uh, in the 70s, I used to live here. I used to live in Berserk Lake. It was a great time of my life to be back in the Bay Area with a lot of like-minded people. It was just a great place. Uh, what, what would you give uh, voters or co-workers as additional advice or how would you like to your community? Get involved. Uh, I cannot stress how important to know the equipment that you're working with, the people that you're working with. Verified voting, I think Barbara Simon and, uh, and what they do is very important. I think that verified voting is a site that we all can learn from to understand what your county is using for equipment. And you know, as I stress, it's very important that if we don't have elections that are transparent, taking that black box and making it into a transparent box, to making elections uh, where they are trackable and publicly verifiable. And that's where the new voting equipment that we push really hard and go ahead, because I find it very strange that we have this equipment out there that nobody really knows about it too well, uh, because uh, they like, they're not telling us that it's there and the systems are available to verify our vote. You know what scares me about the November election the most? Is knowing that it could get ugly and it could get bad. We're talking about, oh, the Russians are coming, they're yeah. going to hack. We got Carl Rove out there. Hi, Carl, if you're watching. <laughs> and we still care. Now, hey, I know your ex girlfriend real well. Yeah. And you're a good friend of mine. And uh, Jim Mark. Hi, Jim, if you're out there. The, it's a bad situation. Can we head it off? Can we head off any violence? You know? Uh, I know the work that I do uh, is based on a really good concept. And it's a very good concept of caring, loving, and learning how to love beyond your fear and the challenges system. Because I'm scared where our country is going. I'm scared of the fact that maybe, like I said earlier, we're living in a country that makes us believe that we are that other country. Are you taking a deep breath in America? I hope they are. I hope they're realizing that you know we want to make sure that your vote counts. We want to make sure that it's verifiable. And I think that's a very, very important goal. And and and, and go out and vote. Make it make it steal it. You know, uh, the more people who go out there and vote, the harder it's going to be to steal, and it's going to be easier for people like me to catch them. Right. Can you give a special shout out to some of the volunteers that worked with you, particularly people of color that have made a difference? Oh my goodness, there are so many. Just Benny say some Smith, names. Benny Smith, I love you. Uh, meeting you at Mimi Kennedy's house has been a very special thing. Okay, what you taught there. me about the difference between religion and ethics was very, very important to think that way. And for you finding how the system works and following the mouse, you know, following the, the sheep back to the rat, and how the other part of the system works was a very important part. part. Fraction magic is real, and we know that's why they're destroying the ballot images, because they can change the numbers, but they can't change the images. So that's why they're destroying it. So I've been asking everybody in post-conference discussion here, as a co-worker, co-observer, what advice can you give us um, as if 
in Mexico, like Arizona, when you were organizing and trying to get people involved, how should we do that in our own state? You know, my favorite, my favorite expression is by Margaret Mead. A few committees can change the world, but I think if you form a committee, you're screwed. Okay, like-minded people working together, like uh, John Brakey working with a Mickey Dunnable or a Leander Ludwig or you know Arlene Lee. These are people I work with. Sandra Spangler, I love you. I thank you for all the years we've been together. And you know, we're so like-minded. We never had an argument. There was no bad ideas. There was only better ideas. It's thinking that way. And, uh, and you know, we learned that if we were going to meet and talk, we could do that at the phone. If you really want to meet, let's meet at the courthouse. Let's meet at the Board of Supervisors. Let's have our meetings there. There are activists out there that want to go to a meeting, they want to criticize what people are doing, and they go home and they think they made change. It's not making change. If people want to find you on Facebook, where do you go? John Roberts Brady. Uh, that's my Facebook. I also have Audit AZ, which is an acronym. I love acronyms. Right. Americans okay. United for Democracy, Integrity, and Transparency. Audit AZ on Facebook. Uh, my site is electionnightmares.com. Every, you know, I've been doing this for 12 years, so you change it up. You know, uh, my first four years I was Audit AZ, and I'm still Audit. Then I became uh, CARE, Citizens Against Rigged Elections, another acronym, okay? And then people said, you know, I don't want to be against something, I want to be for something. So then became CODE, Citizens for Verifiable Elections. Right. You know? And now this a cycle, uh, we became Election Nightmare. Right. But I'm always Audit AZ. Yeah. I think the important lesson there is that um, every election guides, they should be fine guides to the next thing you want to find. What I'd like to do is work with people that in the, don't react, but um, advocate in advance. You know, we shouldn't have to be fighting every time something goes wrong. We should know, be educated enough to really anticipate things. When the primary hit, you know, New York hit, we watching all the things that were happening in New York and then other states trickled down in California. We had, what, a month, month and a half to organize, and we just, some of us were in denial, so I was like, yeah, it's going to happen in California, but, you know, but we were too slow, half and half in denial to get organized, so um, I want to thank you for staying on top of it. Thank you. Uh, okay. And yeah. thank you for being really yeah. an inspiration to meet people like you. No. I know that you're a person of color. Yeah. And I love you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. And, I, and yeah. uh, because of what you do in your heart. Yeah. And to meet people like you and you do what you do. Younger than us, you know, I'm 62. Yeah. I've been an activist all my life. And uh, and now I'm seeing the millennials standing yeah. up and coming. And yes, you see the next generation. I we see need to bring them out, right? Yeah, we need to bring them out. But we need to let people know that Margaret Mead was right. And that I'd rather see 10 groups of 10 people than one group of 100. Because I know group dynamics and how they work. I'd rather have 10 letters to the Secretary of State than one. I know if I put 100 people together, great people do all the work. Right. If I get 10 groups of 10 people, maybe we'll have 10 people doing the work. Right. Because that's just how it works. And that's how we can make really positive change. Yeah. If a volunteer signs up to work with you, what are the kind of roles they can play? Uh, I'm going to help them be themselves. I'm going to help them discover the seven C's. I want to help them go ahead and find other people in their community to work with and that they build a relationship with other like-minded people to give positive reinforcement. Remember, there's no bad ideas, there's only better ideas. Right. Don't be negative, be positive. Right. Be able to uplift each other, okay? But also be truthful on a positive spin because it's hard what we do. Remember, the seven C's, the last one's the most important. It's called courage. That's the one that's the most important. Thank you so much, Tom Rick. I appreciate the extra minutes you gave us. I know you're trying to rush out to get back to Arizona um, to your loved ones and friends and activists. Um, so 
uh, final thought before I shut us down here. Thank you. Thank you all for uh, you know, people from Bernie McDowell for doing what you did by bringing us all together and working with Lori. I think you did an outstanding job. And I think it was a great conference. And I hope that you all out there have a chance and uh, to take a really good look at what this is all about. Because really, I don't want to live in a country that makes believe that we're the other country. I want to live up to our expectations. I want to know that my grandchildren have a future and you out there and the viewing public that you have that same opportunity. Wake up, America, because we need to learn to be what my button says. Yeah. Be you know, the we, we like we the people. Yeah. Can I have a hug? Yes. <laughs> You're great. Bye, everybody. Bye. Gotta go. I'm going to add as he walks away that uh, we need your support. You know, this conference costs a little bit, but we can't stop the work here. And we want to inspire other people. Maybe create toolkits, maybe expand features in our page to help um, other states get organized. There's just not enough. Every state has an advocate like us. We need to connect and standardize our nation uh, elections processes. So um, GoFundMe.com forward slash take back the vote. Pitch in five, ten dollars. We really need your help. Um, to just keep going. We need more uh, youth involved in poll, in poll uh, working positions. We need to be volunteering to be uh, ballot count observers past the election for about four weeks. All you have to do is invest three, four hours and a group of 30, 40 people can take care of that. And um, connect with me online on Ballots for Bernie. We're going to open up our closed group so that you can connect with us. Ask us any questions you have. We're going to add John Brake if he's not already added um, to guide us along the way because we could definitely lose from what happened in Arizona. So, so America, we're tuning out here. Thank you so much for being with us.